Uh, my group at Barts are interested in a B cell malignancy called follicular lymphoma. There's about 2,500 new cases of follicular lymphoma each year in the UK and they represent about 20 to 25 percent of a group of lymphomas that we call non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The disease itself is, is quite peculiar because patients respond really well to treatment. Unfortunately the disease is incurable and so many patients will actually relapse with the disease and maybe relapse several times with the disease. There's over 15,000 patients therefore with follicular lymphoma in the UK and so my group are trying to devise better ways of understanding the changes that are important in initiating these diseases and therefore better treatments. What's exciting about research is that it's a partnership between the clinicians and the scientists working together to try and improve treatment for patients. What the Leukemia Lymphoma Research is doing is providing fellowships for doctors who normally treat patients to take a period of time out of the clinic and actually come into the laboratory. Lymphoma can be caused by multiple different factors but one of the key changes that we see are genetic changes within the normal B cell population. So we've now got the capacity using new technology to actually screen all the building blocks that make up uh, a particular cell. These building blocks we call genes. Uh, that's our DNA. And there's about 25,000 genes in each of our cells. And so what we now have the, the possibility of doing is to physically look at each gene and ask the question, are you damaged in these lymphomas? Or are you behaving improperly? Or is your function damaged in some fashion? And we're beginning to get a very clear idea as to what the changes are, which genes are actually affected. And beginning to work out that they're all interlinked together. What's coming through from our work and work in other centers around the world is that there's five or six key genes. And like bad apples, they seem to be affecting hundreds or indeed thousands of other genes that are present. Ultimately, we're, we're really hoping the new types of research will allow us to devise better therapies and better treatments for patients with follicular lymphoma and indeed all types of lymphoma.